Yes, lads, how's it going? Danny here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, everything's a little bit of a mess right now. Uh, EA apparently got hacked uh, by Lizard Squad. Uh, it is currently 6 p.m. now. Uh, hopefully, we get a good SBC. Uh, I, I apologize. Literally, everything's all over the place. Uh, it's, it's 10 seconds to 6 p.m. I apologize. Everything's all over the place. I'm expecting a good SBC. It is a day before Shapeshifters 2. It has just turned 6 p.m. Let's see uh, if EA are going to drop anything. We get a flashback Ashba Laqueta. Um, okay. Uh, I'll look into the stats. It, it could be okay. Actually, that's a fantastic card. Uh, the strength is a little bit low. I'll, I'll review the card a bit. I uh, just want to see if there's any other uh, SBCs out. Doesn't look like there will be. I'll just check objectives real quick. That actually looks like a very, very good card. Um, it's three squads, so it's quite a bit. Nothing here, I don't think. Nothing milestone. I think that's all done now, the milestones, to be honest with you. It actually looks like an extremely good card. However, the, uh, the there is three squads. Uh, so it's his 2016-17 season. Let me see the squads. 84 with two informs. It's quite expensive. 85 and inform. 85 and inform. Okay. It, it's going to be expensive. All right. But you've got to ask yourselves, what I like to do in SBCs like that is how much would you pay for it on the market, you know? Uh, let's say this. Obviously, it's not tradable. It's not in the market. But genuinely, uh, the one thing I'm, I'm going to quickly go on Footbin. Uh, I normally wait until the end. And they, well, Footbin already have it. That's meant. It's literally been 30 seconds. Um, excuse me. So... It's one, a position change card, um, and it's a massive pace boost. Now, I do want to just check out the actual stats alone. So, he's 5 foot 10, a little bit small, uh, but as you know, this year, uh, I mean, if you don't know, centre-back height doesn't really matter. Last year, it was a pretty big thing because heading was a thing. Heading's pretty much irrelevant now, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Two-star skills, it, it, it's a centre-back. Uh, and three-star weave, it's not bad. Medium, medium is good. Uh, I would have probably preferred uh, low, medium. It's not, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a centre-back. It's not bad at all. Uh, we'll get into the in-games. Pace is actually very good. Uh, if you are uh, a constant watcher of the channel, or you do, I mentioned it every video practically, um, the pace. I really like seeing acceleration bigger than the sprint speed. I absolutely love it. Uh, in-game, so in-game, in my opinion, here I feel like he's got 82, 83 pace. Let's say, for example, he had 78 sprint speed and 84 acceleration. He would have felt a lot slower in-game. Uh, that's just my opinion. I think it's a pretty good opinion, to be honest with you. Uh, shooting, yeah, I mean, he's, he's a centre-back. Passing's actually very good. Vision is... It's low, but for a centre-back, it's pretty good. And a short passing and long passing is fantastic for a centre-back. That's really good. You can play out of the back, uh, no problems. 8-4 short pass, 8-4 long pass is fantastic. Now, the dr oh, okay. Um, the agility and balance are good for uh, for a centre back. He is five foot ten, so you would you would suppose a bit of agility is on him. Uh, the reactions are good. Ball control a little bit low. The dribbling stat alone is a little bit low, so he might feel a bit clunky in game, depending on the gameplay. Uh, he he, the composure is a little bit low. It's not it's not insanely low, but it's not good. There there is definitely a lot a lot of stats on this card that. Are a little bit dodgy. Uh, we we'll get into the next one soon. Interceptions, defensive work. The defending is pretty much perfect. You don't. I wouldn't suggest putting an anchor or anything like that on him. Uh, the defending's pretty much maxed out uh, at ninety, basically uh, average. If you just get rid of head and accuracy, which is irrelevant. Jumping is good. Stamina's good. The strength at seventy three is extremely low. It, it, I don't know if it's unusable, but set, you're going to have to plus 10 that. You're going to have to plus 10 that. So straight away, I'm thinking, I don't even know, a Sentinel, but that's a bit of a waste. I, I don't feel 73 stamp is not good. Uh, let me just quickly show you an example on Footbin. If I go over to Footbin, base Maldini, yeah, I packed him in a base icon pack. Uh, and he has 79 strength. And it's all, even with an anchor, 84, he still does not outstrength people. Uh, so 73 is is very low. You're going to have to plus 10 that. Uh, aggression at 88 is good. We'll get on to Footbin now. It, it's a good card. I have no clue how much this costs. The, the requirements are actually really weird. Uh, I've, they're, normally with stuff like this, it's it's normally the same squads, but this is actually quite weird. Uh, so it's a, it's a good boost from his uh, right-back card. So obviously a position change. The pace is fantastic. They've done well there with the pace upgrade. Uh, because when I saw Aspilicueta, I thought, it's probably going to have like 75 pace. 81 is good, okay? 
the pass is actually pretty good. He's got he's a right back, so he's got good passing anyway. Uh, and apart from that, it's a pretty healthy boost all around. I'm happy with the pace. Uh, it is making a lot more usable. Now, there is quite... I, I like looking here, yeah, on these videos. I'm not sure if... It, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, it has 200 likes and 190 dislikes, basically. So, yeah, it, it, people aren't exactly liking it. Um... I would definitely say, I'm not going to go through the in-games again, because I've just done it. The strength is, I don't know how many times I've got to say it, the strength's too low uh, for a centre-back. You're going to have to plus 10 that, so if you don't know, plus 10 is basically you have to free bar it. So, I don't really know the free bars. The only free bars I know is Sentinel, uh, so it gets it up to 83, but you can't maybe want to get... I'm actually saying that now, looking at that card, Sentinel's probably your best bet. Um, an anchor is a little bit of a waste, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, it's not on waste, but the pay it gets the pace up. It's just what you... Would you rather have more pace or more strength? And with a card that has 81 pace and 73 strength, obviously putting an anchor on him gets him to a 78 strength, but putting a sentinel... Where is sentinel? Putting a sentinel gets him to 83. I just think... As I said, it depends. Do you want more pace or more strength? And uh, do that accordingly. Now, with that being said, actually, let me look at his inform. So, it's a left-back. So, he's got a round a bit. He's got right-back, centre-back, and left-back card. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, it's a good upgrade from his left-back card. I really want to know how much... Um, I really want to know how much he costs. Gen I want to... I'm, so I'm normally quite good at determining the costs. But, I mean, 84 of two informs. That's going to be, like, 80k. I I'm, I'm awful with this. Uh, that's going to be probably 80k, probably 80k. So we're looking at about 200k. I mean, I mean, if he's on the market, you're probably, I mean, maybe. But with that being said, the Premier League have, I mean, quite a lot of centre backs. If we just go to Premier League centre backs, there is an awful amount of centre backs, like medium tier centre backs. You've just got Van Dyke, who's pretty much high tier, uh, but medium tier. You know, you've got, I mean, Flashback Luis is actually pretty end end tier, but you've got uh, Tamori, who actually, no, okay, never mind. Uh, you have Shaw. Gomez, who's not really, kind of, yeah, Ake, Winter Refresh. There's quite a lot of, like, decent tier uh, centre-backs that fit into... Uh, I believe Aspilicueto is, like, decent. Um, he's no better than David Luiz, but, I mean, David Luiz is a lot more expensive. Um, to be fair, looking at this now, it might be worth it, because, I mean, the next best centre-back is Van Dijk, and he's 400k, and then... Maybe Nathan Ake. I mean, Nathan Ake is similar priced. And, I mean, Aspilicueta looks 10 times better. I, actually, looking at this, this might be worth it. I thought the Premier League was, like, stacked with centre-backs. But, I mean, there's not really that many incredible centre-backs. So, I'm going to say, if you don't have a centre-back card, I'd say this is pretty much worth it. Uh, let me check the packs real quick. So, there is a prime mixed. Okay, no, okay, right. Then packs are awful. Okay, we we move past the packs. Right? The packs are absolutely awful. I'd say this is actually pretty. If you're if you need a prem centre back, I'm saying this is worth it. If it, I I wouldn't I probably wouldn't sell your Van Dyke if you have one. Um, and like I wouldn't sell a prem centre back to replace him. But if you're potentially building a prem team for this weekend, I'd say this is pretty much worth it. Uh, either that or just buy a winter refresh Ake. But I can see why you want to do Aspilicueta. So let's say you are going to do it. We've gone through the chem styles. Sentinel, if you want strength. Pa uh, Anchor, if you want pace. You could argue a shadow if you if you really want pace. Uh, and you could even play him right back, left back or whatever. I I'd say Anchor or Sentinel. Now, we're going to links. It's pretty self-explanatory being Prem and Spanish. Uh, you could basically name all of them. Marcus Alonso and Kepa will get you a perfect link. They're not really that usable in uh, February. Uh, obviously, you have the Chelsea links being Kante and the Spanish icons. I don't really like to look at the icons just because it's quite obvious. Uh, you're not really linking hudson Adoy because uh, he's a left mid. But, I mean, these are quite self-explanatory. Any Spanish Prem player like Juan Mata flashback uh, or any Chelsea player, if you're going to get that Kovacic or if you have a future star Chelsea player, there's quite a few. That Adama gets a strong link, but obviously it, it, it's a right wing. Uh, he is actually playing striker for Wolves tonight in a, in a Europa League. If he gets you know a couple goals, he could get a man of the match striker card. Uh, and weak links, uh, it could uh, could work for a, a hybrid you could get, you know, link the Spanish people. Uh, maybe like Ramos, uh, in goal, you'll probably get Kepa. It could work out. You could hybrid this guy pretty... 
I mean, fairly easy, not incredibly easy, but I'm going to think, uh, I'm going to call it a day there. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are going to be doing this card. It's a good card, not a fantastic card, but it's a card nonetheless. So thanks everyone so much for watching. Leave a like if you're new around here. Hit subscribe button would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And I'll see you all hopefully tomorrow for Shapeshifters 2. Fingers crossed EA uh, can do a madness. Peace.